and welcome back. Today is going to be all about birthday dresses. I have been scouring the internet looking for so many dresses and the one dress that, that has always held an important place in my heart is the Kendall Jenner birthday dress. Now I know everyone's probably rolling their eyes right now thinking she's so basic but I just fell in love with the dress. Not because she wore it, because I really don't care, but the dress's shape and just everything about it. So whenever the pieces arrive, I'm going to be trying them on for you, showing you them and telling you what I think about them. The first delivery, this dress is from Pretty Little Things. Yes, I couldn't help myself and I ripped it open. Actually, my mum ripped it open is a black Kendall style dress. First thing I'm noticing when I'm holding this dress, it's extremely see-through. Oh, it actually looks like it's broken. What I'm confused about, I don't know how this would stay up. I could genuinely skip with this rope. I shall pop this on. And I'm back. I have absolutely no clue how this wire works. I feel like this dress needs an instructions manual and I mean this is just this is just going southwards. It is very big for me. So yes it's too big. It just wants to keep on falling down. I know I've probably tied this up wrong but I will say that I do love the shape of the dress. Hello birthday dress video I am back. Now it's probably been about a week now I made an order with House of CB and in the style. So first up we have this beautiful, I say red, my mum says burgundy and then Molly says pink but it's red. Beautiful satin, I think it looks like a figure skater dress, like I can just so imagine this one dancing on ice. I'm not sure if that's what I'm really wearing on my birthday. <laughs> now, this is £109. I just hope it looks as nice on me as it did on the House of CB model because we all know those models are just next level insane. So we have the red skater style dress. Now, I do love this, like I absolutely love it. But one, it is pretty big on me and two the chest area is incredibly low so i've actually just like tied it at the back with a hairband just so i don't go flashing anyone i feel like this almost makes me look like i'm wearing a nappy it's not worth the money so i really don't know what to think about it and then sticking with the red theme the next thing i ordered from house of cb is this beauty. Now I can understand that a lot of people are probably gonna hate this and say it looks like their grandma threw up and then threw some sparkles and blood on it. I really know how to sell a garment. But I absolutely love this. Like it is so insane. And this corset effect on the front. The one thing that I think looks weird on the model in the photos is this like collar bit up here. Like I feel like it almost looks like it should sit down but it doesn't. It's sits up it's a bit like priesty was a hundred and forty nine pounds so a rather pricey piece so now we have the other house of cb dress and however much i love this dress i think it's so beautifully made the quality and the finish and the look of it it's just a sack on me it's not tight enough for any of this bit to look good and I'm just really quite gutted. This dress is actually going to be going to a better home. My mum's actually going to rock this because um, believe it or not she may be old. Yeah my mum is pretty old. She looks fabulous in this dress and a lot better in it than I do. Then the package from In The Style was actually some footwear because you know I need something on my feet. I have these beauties. <laughs> these bad boys. These are some denim knee highs. I don't care if that makes me basic because I think they are pretty darn cool. They're not the best quality. I got these in a six 
and they were 45 50 pounds they are obviously something that's very on trend right now and in a couple of months will be disgusting but you know i thought i'm gonna try this trend now these boots are kind of impossible to get in shot i don't know how to feel about them I think they look really cool, I do, but the boot itself is got sort of like elastic over the foot, so it feels like my foot is being strangled, and they're not very comfortable, so they've got a very slender heel, and it is quite high, but I'm a girl that can cope in any heels, and I don't think I could do a whole night in these. They do keep on falling down, because obviously they don't have any elastic up here, the quality and fit just isn't there. Welcome back to Misha's birthday dress haul part three. Excuse my crazy hair and the random like straight bits as well. Like why is that so straight and then that's so curly? I don't get it. I made an order with Opoly, Public Desire, Misguided and Renee something. Don't know how to pronounce it but a online boutique that's more Instagram based. Let's start with Oh Polly. First up, this little nude beauty. On the website, I feel like this looks like it would be a silky fabric. It is silky, as in the look of it. Like it's very lustrous, I think that's the word. But it's actually like a quite thin, stretchy bodycon fabric. It was £28. Do you think? you can tell that it was kind of cheap if you come up close. It's got this really cute little side detail of these little arm ties. I have absolutely no clue what this is going to look like, but I guess we shall wait and see. So here is the first O Poly dress, and I actually like this more than I expected to. I do think that like the little details are really sweet. The skirt has a really nice shape to it. This chest, I just I don't know who this would work on. I understand I'm not blessed with chest, but I don't see if you were that it would work. I do think it is very pretty, but I would not be comfortable spending a night in this. Not a chance. Next up from O Polly, we have this pink cutie, and oh, I really don't know how I feel about this. Firstly, the neck strap kind of looks like a child's braid. I'd say the fabric does show that it's the, the cheap side in this pink colour, but you know, I might be swayed when I put it on. Let's see. We have this pink O poly dress, and kind of as I thought, the fabric does look quite cheap. Um, it's got like a really, really high shine to it but not in an expensive way, in like a polyester sort of way. It's got a really nice shape to it. It's a little bit non-secure. Actually, incredibly short. Like, I am not a tall person, but this just wants to keep on opening, so I'm not sure this would be too safe to go out in. Next up, I shall go to Miss Guided. Now, this is quite similar to something that I already own, but I thought, oh, it's in the sale. It's very cheap and it's very pretty, so I shall give it a whirl. It's this little, really cute romper with the most adorable short. This is what sold it for me, these little shorts. Now, I do think this does look quite underwear-esque, but I think you could get away with it. It might be a little bit too plain for me for my birthday, because it, it is quite plain, um, or at least it's plain in my in my books. Next up, we have this absolutely adorable play suit, and I love this. I know it looks a bit like pyjamas, like I thought it would, but it's so cute. I do absolutely love it, and it would look really nice with knee highs, but as I thought, it is quite simple and plain. I feel like a little, little sassy butt. They are rah, rah, without showing your butt. Like, they don't actually show anything that they shouldn't. That was a challenge. Next, from this guy, we have something very different to all the other pieces I have ordered. Let's see. It's this grey... Oh. Oh. Okay. 
wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I don't even know. Kind of looks like a trifle. I'm all into skater skirts and ruffles, but there's this almost like plastic cardboardy stuff that is like holding the shape. So I think I'm going to look like a tent in this. Now, this dress is as much of a flop as expected. I look like a UFO. I'm not quite sure how they made this look cute on the model. The ruffles aren't even straight and I just look like a sack of potatoes. So better luck next time. Now I showed you guys that I previously ordered some knee highs from In The Style but they weren't my cup of tea but I really loved the denim knee high so so I checked out what Public Desire had and they looked very similar. I just hoped they would be more comfortable. I ordered these beauty. These pretty much look the exact same as the last ones. As far as I'm aware, they were cheaper than the last ones. And then because I just couldn't help myself, I had to try them in the light color. I really didn't think I was gonna like them and I actually really like them in this color. Like I thought I would find it really tacky, but the two different options and then I shall obviously return one or both of them, depending on how they fit. Now, I have not gone loopy. I do have two different shoes on each foot, but I wanted to compare and contrast the colors, and I actually prefer the light blue. And these boots are so comfy. They fit me really well, and I could definitely last all night in them. I will be sticking with the light blue pair, and the dark blue pair can go back. Finally, I have this beauty, which, oh, I've, I've tried to keep on a hanger, but, um... It's a bit of a struggle. And yes, this is the infamous Kendall dress. Now I know I ordered the one from Pretty Little Things and I loved the shape, but it just wasn't working out for me. This is insane. Like absolutely incredible. It's everything that I hoped it would be, if not better. Again, like the black one, it doesn't actually have like a tie. You just kind of wrap it. So obviously I was doing something wrong with the black one. It does have slits up the side. Don't know how I feel about that. We'll see when it's on. Now it's the piece that we have all been waiting for, or at least I have. I am absolutely in love with this dress. I know it's so OTT and so extra, but you know, you're only 18 once. This chain work is so beautiful and it does stay up even though it's not got a tie as such. I shall be investing in some little silver hot pants because, well, I don't want to risk anything. So there we go. That was all the fabulous dresses that I tried for my 18th birthday. Now, this video will be going up after my birthday, so I shall include some photos and some footage of me in the final outfit, but, I think we can all guess that I'll be wearing the Kendall dress. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit all over the place, but I just thought it was the most realistic way to do it. I would love it if you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. So. Bye bye, see you all next time.